Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. Listen, the eye's messing up with me today, so we're going to immediately just go to the sunglasses. It bothers me. I know it might bother y'all. Hey, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number we bring up on everything we do, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, whatever, we bring it up. I want you to know that. Vets, I want you to know, vets, that you have a place here. You're welcome here. You fought for us. Let us fight for you by raising awareness. Now, we back to blue here. Scab, how do you do that? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Well, today, what we want to do is a what's in your pocket. Kind of get back on track. Kind of keep moving forward. And I, I've been working this morning. been doing all kinds of stuff this morning. Cleaning up the house a little bit. Doing a little Instagramming. A little more cleaning. Working on knife profiles. So, we're doing a what's in your pocket. Today, I've got the 8010 from Cold Steel. It's S35VN. And it is a good looking knife. It's a bigger knife. But it's a good looking knife. Now, what I've done is I've taken and, and redid the uh, edge bevel. We're doing a 20 degree edge bevel. I'm, I did a little paper cut test. I'm going to post that at the end of the video uh, and just let you know how this does. I love this knife. It's big and it feels good in hand. Now, the 8010 is about 150 bucks, um, but it is S35VN. It's a good heavy duty knife. It's got the triad lock, which is the, you know, what is that, kids? It, it's the Chuck Norris of locks. It's like Chuck Norris on steroids. Great lock, try a lock. I've still got to do some videos on that. I've, I got in some cut resistant gloves uh, that I'm gonna use for that video now. That'll be a little bit different video. We're gonna do a little more banging, uh, trying to make the lock fail some, so we wanna be as safe as, as we're gonna be. The other thing I'm carrying today, and I carry three or four, but the other thing I wanted to carry as a note was the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Now, y'all can see this one's been beat up. That's because it, I use it as a work knife. I've, I've reprofiled this edge. You'll see this again at the end in my paper cut and test. Now this one is CPM S30. CPM S30V. It's made in Golden, Colorado. It's got the grippy G10. I love this knife. I, I, I never was a huge Spyderco fan um, until maybe about a year ago, and I absolutely love this damn knife. It's a great knife, it's a great work knife, heavy duty, and it's razor sharp. Now, let me know in the comments what you're carrying. The other thing in the comments, if you're not a big commenter, just put hashtag 22 a day. Uh, that will, it'll turn blue. And if anybody hits it, somebody stumbles across it, it will take them to some videos that, if some of my videos are in there, but there are some videos in there that kind of really goes into that call. So hashtag 22 a day and what you're carrying. Now, let me, let me speak on this real quick, uh, or as quick as I'm going to. Everybody knows that I am a big, big fan uh, of the Shredder. I did uh, several shout outs for him. Uh, it's Ezekiel. Uh, is the shredder he's 10 I believe 10 years old and his dad Jonathan and on Mondays they do uh, Mondays with mama now here's here's why I'm saying this it's an awesome channel it's a father and his son bonding with knives okay now what I do is I'll watch a video I usually make a couple comments I always if I comment on your videos boys and girls I do more than one comment because comment drives YouTube and if I can I'll put two or three I'm not trying to be dramatic or you know any of that I'm just trying to help you out and get more comments so that's why I do that but what I'll do is I'll watch a video kind of skim through it I did yesterday doing some other things and I heard Mama Shredder kind of laying it down so I thought I earmarked it and went back this morning Apparently, they've been getting some comments on safety. Let me explain something to you. If you put a comment on there about the shredder's safety out of genuine concern, now, it scares me to death. 
not because he's not safe, not because his dad don't know what he's doing, not because of any of that. It just, I'm just getting old. I have grandchildren. If, when it was my son, he could have cut his hand off, and I bet, boy, just put some salve on it. It's just different as you get older, okay? I think the Shredder's mom and dad are doing a fantastic job raising him. Fantastic. I, I, you can see it in the boy's smile. Having said that, uh, they went into some things about safety and and, uh, and, and I agree, you know, we're not going to stop and put on gloves and put on glasses and do all this. When you use a knife, you use a knife. Now, 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 uh, Jonathan himself, the dad himself, uh, said there were several people that were respectful and he had good conversations with. That's not what I'm going to address here. It's, he also said there were several who just wanted to use the F-bomb and do all that and he erased the comments. Let me tell you something. If you're so miserable in your life, all you got to do is go try to blast somebody that's having a good time and, and, and putting out some, some good family morals, then to hell with you. Okay? Now, I know there's nothing we can do. It's the internet and there's trolls and, and if you are one that wants to do that and go just blast the guy. And, and, and let me tell you something. And that goes for everybody that's a big know-it-all. Well, I know that. Okay, okay, big guy. Well, then you start your YouTube page, you do your stuff, you raise your kids, and you shut the hell up. But you do that. I don't care what, I get all kind of kind of, that, ooh. Yeah, I've never heard that before. You don't know what you're doing, ooh. Bring it, I don't care. But stay off of an 11-year-old, 10-year-old boy's page who's bonding with his family. You're just... You remember a couple months ago, we did one, and we did a little commercial. It was for PBI. Well, if you're one of those guys who feel the need, one, if you got used to F, and I, I have said the F word a ton. I don't say it on here. And so I, I've told y'all, I cuss like I say, and I'm not proud of that. But if that's all you got in this life to show who, how big and manly you are, then you have PBI, punk bitch itis. You understand me? If you can't go in there and say something positive, just don't. Just don't. And I know this will probably do no good. Well, you know, it just it pisses me off. You know, we always talk about we were, oh wish it was a good old the good old days. You know you don't. No, you don't. What you wish is you had something like they got. That's what you wish. So Moving on from that, I support the Shredder. They're good people. He's in good hands. For all of you who have genuine concern, like Jonathan said, put it on there. Have a dialogue. At the end of the day, it's their kid. And the little boy's happy. And I hate to break it to you, he's going to get cut. He's going to get some scars. Do I want it to happen? No, man. Mm -mm. I don't. But I got them all over me. That's part of growing up. His mom is a nurse. It'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say about it. And I, and, and I realize there's nothing I can do. I wish there was a button that you could hit that anytime somebody puts something stupid on the internet, it puts your name and your address. I really do. Well, that's not for you, Mr. Beast, Gab. I can't be a tough guy if they do that. Well, that's it. Listen, for all my subscribers, we got 995, son. I told y'all 900 ago when we had 87. Well, it was 907, whatever. You give me the right subscribers and we'll charge hell with a water pistol. I'm so thankful for everybody that subscribed. I'm so thankful for everybody that's positive and puts positivity in the comments. Thank you for standing behind me and holding me up during this time. Thank you for being there. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Hey, do me a favor. We five away. If you like what you see now, if it's your first video, my bad. I, I've got, I've literally got 430 something videos, 440 videos that I've done in eight months. Bunch of them are out in the woods. We're going to be out in the woods this afternoon. 
If you like the content, please hit subscribe, hit like, and if nothing else, if you hate it, hit share so we can get the word out about the 22. Well, listen, guys, I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. Like my boy Mikey says, everything's going to be all right, and we're gone. Well, here we go. Let's do some testing there, Scab. Calm down there, son. You, your blood pressure get too high, and you have to eat a little something. Here we go. Here's the 8010. They all in different ca camera angle little scabs thrown in there, son. Let's see what it do. Now, this is a little thicker knife, a little bigger knife. That's why I wanted to try out this 20-degree edge bevel. See what it's got? Oh, son. Just blew right through there. Incredible. Incredible sharpening ability, capability by old Scabarino. Now, the PM2 is a little thinner blade, a little bit. Uh, it's got that, that hole there that you open it up with. That's awesome. I'm a big PM2 fan. I really am. I think I like the Manix uh, just as much, if not a little better. But let's see right here. Let's see what she got. Oh, another jam-up job done by Scabarino. Well, guys, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Thank you again for all the support. I'm Scab. You're not. Everything's going to be all right. We gone.